Hey guys, my name is Gia and I just love to eat, laugh, and live. <laughs> Welcome. If you guys don't know me, I'm a vegan bodybuilder. And so as a bodybuilder, I get a lot of questions of, Gia, how did you get so lean for shows? So first, I want to say that it took me some time to actually start even recording this video because I wanted to be very honest and very real, um, but also give you advice that's safe and helpful. Uh, and I should also say, guys, that bodybuilding is an extreme, extreme sport. Um, it's not an extreme of the sense that you're like jumping off of cliffs, not that kind of extreme, but the extreme in the sense of you're really working to um, change your body, build muscle, uh, take away fat, build muscle, take away fat. It's, it, it's extreme. It's, it's really taxing on your body. But I also understand that bodybuilding is not the only event where somebody might want to lean down. So I'm just going to give you um, an idea of kind of what we did. Me and my coach, my coach is amazing, her name is Danny Taylor, I'll link her down below. Um, what we did to get me prepared for a show. So first off, uh, like with any body transformation, there are two key components. <laughs> Exercise and diet, nutrition, right? Um, so let's first talk about my nutrition. So far, further away from a show, I was looking to just build muscle and gain strength, right? So we had a higher amount of fats, carbs, um, and protein for me. Uh, when we got to the point of, okay, you've gained as much strength as you can, I think it's time for you to start shedding some fat, some of the carbs started getting shaved off slowly, incrementally and the same with the fats. And as I got a little bit leaner, protein went down just a smidge as well. Um, closer to what we call peak week, the week of um, the competition, the week prior to the competition, we actually started to also think about the different minerals that I'm consuming, so salts and whatnot, and my different vitamins, those kind of things. Um, and when it comes to workouts and cardio, during the period where I was further away from the show, I had a lot of bigger lifts. Uh, I Like I was doing, I, I think I was programmed in squats. If I wasn't programmed in squats, I was doing them because I liked them. <laughs> um, and, <laughs> sorry Danny. <laughs> um, and, uh, I was hitting steps, that was my cardio, 5,000 steps a day. Mind you, my job means I sit at a desk all day or I stand at a desk all day. That's different for somebody that might be, let's say, waitressing or is a nurse, that's totally different, right? So you guys would have different goals than me. And then um, closer to the show, my exercises changed, my workouts changed so that I wasn't doing such heavy lifts anymore, but definitely higher reps. So where in which sometimes I would have hit like some heavy high weights at 8 reps, I was doing them at 15 reps and maybe at a machine so that I could have a support during my form with my form versus kind of a free form weight. And it's for safety reasons. And then my steps incrementally got, incrementally got higher to 6,000 steps a day, 7,000 steps a day, 8,000. I think I got up to nine or 10,000 steps a day. And uh, also close to the show, uh, we started to add cardio into my routine. This is also gonna differ for, every, for everybody. Generally speaking, I think I'm a pretty somewhat active person, even though I have a desk job. Um, I'm a somewhat active person because I walk around a, a lot with my pup. I, where's she? <laughs> She's crazy. I walk around with my pup, I go to the gym, um, those kind of things, and I lift heavy, right? Um, so anyways, cardio, um, for me, what we did was we just did, um, put, had me on cardio at 130, I think it started out 20 minutes, two times a week or three times a week, and then it finally went up to 30 minutes, four times a week, and the kind of cardio that I had for me personally was uh, keeping my heart rate above 130 um, beats per minute. Um, so that meant I had to wear a Fitbit, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Oh, and the other reason it was programmed for me that way is because I travel a ton, and I barely sleep, so I'm exhausted, uh, and my body, your, my body would take a major toll if I put my body through more extreme um, kind of cardio. 
But that being said, guys, um, one of the things that I want you to recognize about how I think about me and bodybuilding is show day, the way I look is cool, right? But it's temporary. It's I, And you have to know that. It's very, very temporary. It's not the way that I look every day. Um, and if you want to get lean for a show or if you want to get lean for an event, the best piece of advice I can give you guys is get a coach. Um, somebody that will always have an outside perspective from you and will give you guidance based on um, based on you personally. Don't as best as possible, and I, I know they can be expensive sometimes, as best as possible, try not to get like the templated things, try to get somebody that actually will get to know you and create something specifically for you, so personalized coaching. But the other part of it, guys, is what I don't think people talk about very much is when you're in the point of building muscle and eating more food, you've got more energy. The probability of you getting injured is far less than during the time where you're in a cut, right? Losing, losing some of that fat. Um, and again, that's the reason why we um, moved me to a lot of machine work instead of free form weights. I, I'm gonna show you, this is what I looked like for my very first show back in July 2017. This took me seven to eight months to prep. I mean, I was legit dedicated, right? And then two weeks after, I kind of gained it all back. <laughs> Um, and it felt really uncomfortable. I wasn't ready for that. And so I actually had to mentally kind of talk myself through it. My last two shows were at, in November of 2018. And it is, what is it now? Ooh, February 2019. And I'll show you guys, this is what I look like now. My last two shows was November 2018. It is February 2019. <laughs> Guacamole, it's cold, Batman. It is cold. Oh, la, 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 la. I was about to go to the gym, but I wanted to record this for you for guys. This is what I look like now. I'm going to do a couple of the poses because I don't know what photos I'm going to show you. You can see I have no ab definition, but tell you what, guys, I am lifting so much more. It feels so good to be strong. It feels so good to get back to curling heavy, lifting heavy. Um, you can see that my muscle, my you don't see as many of my striations on my arms, but I'm definitely feeling stronger. I'm feeling good about myself, and I feel amazing. And for you girls, my glutes are coming back. <laughs> Yay! Um, okay, guys, it's cold. So if I want to wrap things up for you guys, what I would say is... Getting lean for a show or an event is possible. It can be dangerous. It can be done safely. Um, I know people that have um, been so excited for the event or the show that to get so lean and they got so lean and then within the next month they gained 60 pounds or even when it, within a week they gained 30 pounds. And if you're not prepared for that, you can potentially go down into a spiral and undo everything that you've done that you worked for so hard for for eight months or so and it's gone in two weeks legit right um, so be very aware and prepare yourself mentally first I also know people that have gotten injured and people will faint on stage Lucky, luckily none of the shows I've been to people have fainted but people can faint on stage I know somebody that was traveling for her international show and uh, ended up getting hospitalized the, the week prior just because her body um, was taking on too much. Um, so just be very safe about it and be aware of the possible consequences, be aware of the rewards, be aware of how to plan forward. I would recommend for you guys to get a coach. If you want me to coach you, um, you can find my contact information. I'll link my website and my contact info in the description box below. Um, but the, remember guys, j I, I really want to press this point because I think it's important. If you're going to prep for a bodybuilding show, really think about how you're going to taper off from that show because you think about when we get leaner and leaner, we think about us as become like a dry sponge, right? And then the moment that you put that sponge underwater, it's like, hello, I'm back. <laughs> so anyways, guys, I hope that was helpful. Um, 
If you have any questions, let me know. If there's anything else um, specific that you want me to cover, put it in the comments down below. And yeah. All right, guys. Oh, Darla wants up. Darla wants to say bye. Hugs and puppy. <laughs> Bye guys. I'm back home now. If this kind of content is helpful for you guys, let me know. Hit that like button. It tells me what kind of content to deliver to you guys in the future. If there's anything particular you else that you want me to cover, put it in the comments below. I only ever create content based on questions that you guys have. Um, if you want to see more content from this mood, hit that subscribe button. There is, there's a notification bell right next to it. Ding, 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 ding every time this baby gorilla posts a video. Alright guys, and if you aren't already following me on social, feel free to do so if you want to. Have a great day. See ya.